it is kind of scary. You know, Ireland is a welcoming country for gay and lesbian, bisexual, transgender people in, in the main. Um, uh, it is a safe country in which to be a gay person. Um, but um, I think a lot of us had hoped that we'd seen this kind of we'd seen these kind of attacks behind us. And you know, there was an attack on a uh, on somebody in Dublin as well uh, only last week, yeah. um, not too far from Dame Street. Um, uh, you know, so I, I don't know whether or not it represents a resurgence in homophobia. There is a worry that it might. Um, you remember the inc- incidents of the burning of the pride flags there last year. Mm-hmm. Um, there have been a number of assaults uh, and now these murders too. Um, and it's hard to know what's the cause. You, you know, perhaps because we're in a different phase of the pandemic and people are out and about more, maybe there's a, you know, a snapback, if you like, in violence. That, that could be the case. Um, uh, it could also be a backlash against the progress that we've made as a country. And we've seen that happen in other countries too. You know, America progressed along a socially liberal route for uh, decades and then there was kind of a snapback and things got kind of nasty again and they got involved in culture wars and I, I really hope that's not where we're heading. There are a number of things we can do. I think one is, is a more visible and uh, clear guard of presence on our streets, particularly in Dublin, but also in our other cities and towns. Um, we've more guardy than we've ever had before in Ireland. The guard of budget is bigger than it has ever been before, but uh, I don't think people feel that they're seeing um, more guardy on the streets, particularly you know at times when they're busy and uh, and in the evenings when there can be public order issues. So I think that needs to be done. And said that to Minister of Justice, and we'll be saying we'll be calling on the guard commissioners to do that as well. Um, on the government side, um, we're going to strengthen our hate crime legislation. We have uh, incitement hate, hatred legislation already, but we want to strengthen that so that if somebody uh, commits a crime and it's motivated by racism or homophobia or sexism or uh, any other form of hate, uh, that they can get a stiffer sentence. Um, and I think we need to redouble the kind of things that we're doing in schools and in communities just to um, uh, encourage people and teach people to be more more accepting of diversity and um, more understanding the fact of the fact that people have their own course in life, you know.